do you want to know how to make a removable tube to get your eggs out easier for a TARC rocket? Hi, I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a removable tube to get your eggs out easier for TARC rockets. And to do this, you will be using removable plastic rivets from Apogee. These work, so they have like, they have fingers on them. So you can, so when you push them down, the fingers open up and they lock it and it'll keep it to lock in place in your tube so it doesn't move. All right. So this is a TARC rocket, a model of a TARC rocket and using the fingers. So you take a finger and you stick it in the hole and you push down. As you can see, it doesn't move. And to take these out, you need something to get under the rivet to pull it up a little bit. And then if you can't get it out with your fingers, so you just pull it out and if let's say that happens, you can use pliers to pull the rivet out. And right. You will need a transition from Apogee, Apogee components, and you can use this plastic one, or you can use the method of using a paper coupler, and it just, it works just the same. And you also need a tube that you can get from Apogee. So, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna put the tube over the coupler, and you're gonna draw a line with your a small straight line up, just one line, and then you pull it out, and you rotate the tube, and then so it's not touching that angle part, so when you drill your holes. And the reason that you do this is so you don't drill the holes straight into this angle part and make it uneven. Right, and to, you do this because when you draw your holes, um, you have one here, which will be here, and then your other one that's on the other side, when you have three of the rivets, you put that there and it won't be on the angled part. So you put back on, and then you wanna tape it in place so you your lines don't shift, so it's, une so it's not uneven. And then you take your thin guideline, which you can get from Apogee Components. And you push that on and make sure that your, the three is directly above your first line. And then you just stall, draw your other two lines. All right, now that you have done that, take your thin kind of line off and you leave your tape on and you want to draw a dot three quarters of an inch up from the bottom of the tube. And that's where you're gonna draw your holes on that dot. All 
All right, so now that you've done that, you're ready to drill your holes. But before you do that, you wanna make a witness line. And a witness line, you line up the lines and it keeps your holes in place. So let's say your dots were a little uneven and your hole, so now your holes are uneven. So that witness line will make sure all your holes line up so you can get your removable plastic rivets out. And now you can go drill your holes with a 530 seconds drill. Oops. So now that you're ready to drill, you wanna take a 530 seconds drill bit and you want to use a drill to drill it. If you don't have a drill like this, you can just use a hand drill. So you put your drill piece in and you tighten it as much as you can. And then you take a drill chuck and you stick it in one of the holes and then you rotate it to tighten it as much as you can to keep it from coming out. All right, now that it's tightened and it won't come out, you're, you can start drilling. The first thing that you wanna do is wear your safety glasses. Remember to put on your safety glasses. And then you wanna take this drill piece and just align it with your dot. And then you turn on your drill and you pull it down. And then you drill your hole. And you just keep going around until all your hole, till all your dots have holes in them. And hold that tight so it doesn't move on you. So now you're done drilling your holes. Now that you're done drilling, the first step that you wanna do is take off your tape. And you can throw that away. And then take out your transition. And if your holes didn't turn out the best, you can re-drill that, but don't re-drill it with the tube on because you might mess it up. Just make sure it's in the right spot. All right, so then you wanna take your water thin glue and make sure you're wearing your glasses for this. And so you wanna put a drop of water thin glue on each hole to seal it, kind of. Right. And then you want to use your super glue setter and you spray each one. And if you use too much, just wipe off the excess. All right. Now that you've you're done with your super glue and kick it, you can take off your safety glasses. So the next thing that you're gonna want to do is you want to sand down the holes inside and outside to get a super fine, perfect hole. So you sand that down.
And so the reason that you sand the inside of the tube is so it makes it easier to put on your transition. And you want to use your 5 30 seconds drill bit and put it through the holes just to clean up the holes and make sure that your drill bit still fits through. And if it doesn't, you can clean it up by using a knife. But if you do, do use a razor blade knife, make sure you put back on your safety glasses to clean it out. And once it's cleaned out, you can take them off and you can clean your holes out. And if they need a little bit more sanding, just do a little bit more sanding. And then you're done with doing your holes. So when you want to put your, your removable plastic rivets in, you want to use that line that you drew earlier and line it up and line it up, line the line up completely, and then you can put your rivets back in. So you just want to push all of those in the holes. And that's it. That's all you have to do. If you like this video, um, here are some videos that I think that you would like. And then if you're on YouTube, subscribe and comment down below how I did. <laughs> so bye.